Hello people, welcome to River Duck Farms Academy. My name is Kennedy, a US Navy veteran and also a poultry farmer of 52,000 beds capacity. So I just say thank you so much for the support. And uh, uh, before I go to the topic, let me just say these few things and we zoom into the topic, a very nice topic that we come to treat today. So first of all, Sami is making some videos from home and giving it to us and uh, how to raise a bed. Now we're gonna take it every week by week how you should raise bed. I don't want us to post every day which is gonna bed in you. So every week, what you have to do when you receive a bed. So we received them last week. Before that week, he gave us how to go by the brooder stage, how to prepare your brooder. If you have not watched that one, you can search for it and watch it in our videos. And the next one is going to, in the first week, what you have to do. The next week, all the vaccination is gonna give everything out. So stay put with this. Uh, channel and if today is your first time you are on the right channel to own your own business to own your own poultry farm as a youth and if you are in abroad to go back home into Africa to gain something that you want people this is the channel for you thank you so much for always being here and subscribing to our page thank you I really appreciate you know I wish I, I, wish I salute uh, because of the nature of it so thank you so much today let's go to the topic that I want to treat you know, I've been in poultry business almost eight years now, going into my eight years, yeah. So, what is one of the biggest issue, one of the biggest problem in poultry farming? It's stealing. And today, I'm going to tell you, I have a nose here. I don't know my I like propelling and teaching because I saw about nose. So, I've, I've made a nose here. And I'm going to teach you about that. So, when you talk about one of the challenges in poultry business, stealing is one of the biggest issues. I, in one of my videos, I said, if you have not gone through it, that doesn't mean maybe they are not stealing you or you've, uh, they will never steal you. People, what trade business is one of the, our biggest issues. Now, how do we solve for it? That is a catch. That is a, a solution I'm going to give it to you. And I will tell you the secret of how people steal in poultry farming. I've been 80 years. Any corner, corner, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? Because if I go to Ghana, I go to the cage, I do all the stuff myself, and I help the workers. So, in poultry farming, when you go to, into poultry, there are four sectors. Or let me say four sectors, three sectors that workers always target to steal. It doesn't matter who the person is. People can be a manager, can be a farmer. And I'm not saying maybe my manager. No, no, no. No, no, no. I won't even say that ever. But it can be anybody in poultry farming because it's more tempting. It's more tempting. It tempts people in poultry general, in poultry as a general. So anywhere, any country that you are, what would be the solution? I'll give it to you. So one, in my experience, I also tell you, very quick video. So three things that people steal in poultry farm is the feed that you make or the feed that you buy. I have a police case, two police station case sitting right now. I'll tell you the story. Two, it's about X. That one is the quickest one. Quick, 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 quick. People will tell you, <laughs> people will tell you have maybe what, two crates of your eggs and just even five crates. The third one is the best. The best that they are in the cage, people steal them. I'm telling you, people steal them. And I'll tell you all the secret of them. So one, let's go into that. But the feed, which most people, and the third one, that, yeah, the, third, the, the last one, where, which people steal in the farm. The, mostly, I can tell you by my experience in poultry farming for almost eight years that most poultry farming stealing that occurs is it's, it's about people who work in the farm it's not the people it's not about people coming out there uh, coming from coming from town or something about 80 to 90 percent is about the people who come who come from uh, who works in the farm do you know why because poultry farm as a as a poultry farming normally when you enter the environment it seems like somebody is there because of how the best are making the noise and the cages it seems like somebody is uh, somebody's there so the, the person who is working there already knows all that stuff. He knows all that secret. Mostly, I don't want to tell you the secret in portrait farming so that the, the outsiders who are not having good behavior will go there still now. But that's one thing about portrait farming. That's why people say, oh, it's like they are using juju or something. No. Because when you enter environment, it changes in portrait environment. Everything. If you have worked for portrait farming uh, for so long, you know that. It changes. Especially when you enter in there in evening time. You can see like somebody's around that's how it is so anybody who has been to the portrait environment or the workers who are there they know that and end of the day when they enter there they know the environment already so they are used to so one about the feed how they steal the feed there are two ways 
mostly when you buy the feed mostly we buy about 135 bags of uh, maize every every week that's what we consume we buy over 200 uh, what is the name uh, soya that's almost more than like two weeks or something that is what we consume so one when you put the whole maize over there you only stack it they go there and take some of them and go and sell that's one of them the the stealers who are not clever that's what they do the ones also who steal the feed when you give the feed to them to prepare the feed for the best, like how you make your own poultry feed in a machine or the feed mill, instead of you, they, they're using maybe, let's say, four bags to make the feed, they will take one out and use three and sell the other one, which I have two cages in the police station. Somebody buying from my own people in the, in the, in the, in the what is the name, in, in the farm. And I suck all of them. Before that, arrested them, put them in the police station. You have to be disciplined at times. And the third one, I don't want to go, I don't want to be so much uh, because of a time. Or maybe if I need to come back, why not? So the next one is about eggs. People, some steal the eggs and put them in, in the bush. By the time they go in the morning, they take the eggs, they put them in the bush. Or in the evening, and they come there uh, uh, later on and pick, pick the eggs and go home. That's one thing about them, about eggs. The third one is about, about the bears. People, you'll be surprised how people even were stealing our bears. They take sack, you know sack, yeah, sack. And another one is closing, going home, or they will just kill the bed, put in a sack, cut, uh, uh, make uh, something what it's called, uh, tie it, go hide in the bush, and they will send it home. And at times, when you meet them on the road, oh, it is a dead animal, it just died in the bed, the daytime, and now I'm taking it home. They will use that as an excuse. So the time you figure out, so mostly you have to be very careful that if your bears are dying away and you are very cautious, try to search for, uh, try to search for the, for the, what is the name, the cause of it. Because these are the sum of the things that they do. And about, so the, the feed, they steal them. So if your feed, be very countable, very, be very, count the feed. How many goes, make sure you count the feed. To the eggs. The people who saw the egg, they sort it out. Some of them, oh, they put them under their bra. Some of them put them under their... I'm not... I'm a very feminist person. I like the ladies, so no matter what, I don't know. But they put them under their waist. Some of them even come with a, with a cap, a hat, and they put some eggs in it. And I'll be like, you're kidding me. And all these things, you pair them, you give them all this, and they still steal from you, people. So if you're going to poultry for me, that is one of our biggest and biggest issue as human relations or human uh, factors. And how do you solve this business? If you're a newcomer going in, one thing I will encourage you is set cameras. Do I have cameras? No, but I'm not going to uh, condone something that I do not do or something that I'm doing wrong for you not to do it. That's what I'm telling you. I keep it real as hard as this. Do it. Set cameras which you can even monitor some stuff on your phone, on your laptop. That's because that's my option right now. Or that's what I, I wanted to do. I'm not saying people work in poultry farms are stealers. No, that's what I'm saying. But that's what people do. Some of them do. So that is what you can control. So people, this is one of the issues that we confront. So make supervisors. And also that's what I'm saying. Our supervisors give them money. That we also encourage them. Not Most supervisors don't do that. At times, them, some of them too. But me, I'm not encouraging a supervisor who has ever stole from my farm. For that one, I will 100% say never. But workers, oh, forget. <laughs> Everywhere, people. So I just want to encourage you today that this is one of the things that you have to know if you want to enter into poultry farming. And this is one thing that people are facing. All of us, every big farming, every big uh, thing. And that's why also, at times people too want to enter into cage farming. It's also one of the uh, unique things. That one will prevent them from stealing from the, uh, the, the cage, taking the best. But when it comes to X, you have to set cameras or do something that you think. Let's comment on the uh, comment below and give me some, uh, some ideas of what you are doing and what I've told you so that we can all learn from each other and support this idea and kill that kind of stealing in businesses because I don't think you can do it in other countries. Why should it be in Africa? It can never continue. Let's give ideas. And people, if you still, I always say, if you still in my farm and I get you, police station straight away, it's discipline. You pay for it and you come back. Yes, but no, no back to the farm. No, 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 I don't do that. So let's establish discipline in our farm and 
comment below like our videos and subscribe and people welcome to better forms one more time and uh, my name is kennedy and i say till we meet next time chase your dreams and money will follow you thank you peace shalom